Hello everyone, this is Jimmy K here and welcome back to another video where uh, I'll be teaching you guys on how to trade some stocks and some investments. So for our first um, news that we'll cover today will be on uh, Warren Buffett um, provided by CNBC states that um, on Monday, on today, that he sold all his shares of General Electric and he it reported that 17.5 million shares that he sold from GE will go now go into Synchrony Financial. So that's interesting news for sure. Um, if we look at the chart for GE, we can see this uh, drastic decline most likely due to <clears throat> this, uh, the shares that were sold by Warren Buffett here. Um, if we look at the year to date, you can see it's been consistently downtrending um, this past year. Will it level off here? Will it increase? Uh, it's not too certain, but mostly seems unlikely with the big players getting out of the game. Um, the lowest uh, support will be around the $5 range, around this um, system tread line around the 30 cents range and then it bounces up huge to all the way to $60 which if you guys you know invested in at the beginning of the year or oh this was around 1990s so if you guys invested in here you, and you held it to 1999 you guys will want huge but that's not important for this video we'll be covering um, on the future stock predictions, um, it may level out to this range around the six dollars. It may even drop to back down to the pennies at the thirty cents range. <coughs> Excuse me. Been sick lately. Currently, it's at the 25 range. Let's see if I can move this. Move it over here. Over here is fine. So, a couple of uh, resistance levels right here at the 31 range, which w initially was a support. Now it's the resistance. It may hit that most likely, or there's a very good probability that it will hit that resistance. <clears throat> it may even bounce back all the way to the 60 range, but I think that's mostly dependent on the news and what kind of uh, headlines are reported for this stock. Um, so if we look at the uh, synchrony financials as we can see here in the year to date or all it's a fairly new company as you can see it's been open since uh, 2015 only been two years and now Warren Buffett's in this one 17 million if we look at the year to date I mean the uh, just in the day we can see that it's on the green at 29 dollars currently it's also taken a massive dip from the 30 dollar range <clears throat> or it's not that massive but just the relativity of this stock compared to the other ones
So we can see here there's a uh, multiple resistance and support levels around the 35, 36, 40 range here. Currently it's at the <clears throat> uh, mid 29s has a, a couple percentages for profit here. Um, it can also bounce back down to the slower support levels of $27 and also here at the 29 so if we look at the <coughs> sorry guys I'm dying here no please no yeah well like I said, the risk for loss is very minimal here. Uh, most likely, the potential to drop is only probably $2. Meanwhile, the uh, margin for profit is up to 36 39 That's almost a $10 profit with $2 uh, risk investment. If you're on the long, going on the long, but since this, uh, since most of my videos are catered to new investors and traders, um, I would not recommend going short on any of the stocks, especially in this bull market. It would be more practical, I feel, to just be on the long-term investment and try to day trade based on these uh, various headlines <laughs> so yeah he just got in or the report states that he just got into this company on today so I'm not sure if it may impact the overall company a little bit um, we can see it's in the green see here oh give me one second guys <clears throat> oh yeah 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 i mean in the day syf increased about 1.5 percent which is around the 31 dollar range i mean they around it closed around 29.66 um, the aftermarket trades increased by 5%. Now it's at 31.17. So this may be a great opportunity to get in. Um, as we can see by the tread lines, um, the, mac, uh, the highest resistance was at the 35, 36 range. And it's only at the 31 so the margin of profit is within four dollars which i believe it could reach um, fairly quickly this is also a company that's been uh, released very recently so it's hard to say where the future predict predictions of how this uh, company will turn out but uh, just within the past <clears throat> past like three years two and a half years the overall increase is at around almost 40 percent so this may be a interesting stock to keep your keep on your guys's watch list the current volume is 1.82 million volatility levels are very low um in the q1 in the q1 earnings it reported that it didn't hit the estimated estimated eps um in q2 it hit over the estimated eps and let's see what this company actually does it does let's see it's a provider of private label credit cards and dual credits so payment solution platform so it's basically uh 
Okay. <clears throat> it operates on the sales platforms, various sales platforms in the retail sector and private sector. So, and this is a holding company. Hmm, interesting. So, yeah, I mean, if you guys see the potential reward in this profit, I mean, in this company, you may um, trade into it or invest into it. As we can see here by this news here that Warren Buffett has sold all of his shares into GE and allocated that into SYF. So if he's doing it, it must be a pretty smart decision. I haven't really looked into the SEC filings or any of that yet, but that may be also a uh, smart uh good thing to do good thing to look at and still maybe in the early stages in the game and it may even um, increase way a lot more the highest this uh company increase was around 62 percent and that was already before you know buffett dropped the shares into ge and went into syf so even with that, there's still a 30% increase of margin back to the previous resistance. So this may be a very, very strong stock to look at going into the next year or couple of years. <laughs> um, obviously, Warren Buffett sees the potential. So I would recommend to read up on the... <clears throat> financial reports of this company and understanding the margin of profits is making the overall revenue it's bringing in for the company and potentially it does it offer dividends it offers a 0.72 dividend which is around what maybe three percent or so so it's it seems like a very strong solid company to go in right now and it's also very a recent release ipo so yeah <clears throat> um i would take a close watch on this stock for sure very interesting news <clears throat> um if are there any other things that we can look at Pandora got a new CEO. <coughs> oh, Pandora is under a new leadership after founder stepped aside as CEO for the second time. So this could mean, I mean, Pandora has been experiencing some difficult teas in the company recently. And, hmm. Yeah, just in the past year, it dropped almost 40%. It's in the single-digit range at the initial high of uh, 37, which is pretty ridiculous. I honestly believe that <clears throat> they're, they might be in trouble unless they do something drastic to change their business model or the product they're giving out. But um, somehow... In, the aftermarket trades have increased by 3%, so which is a good sign with this uh, transition of leadership. <clears throat> this this could indicate that um, this company may turn around and come back as a strong contender in the music industry. But at the same time, you have to understand that this company um, has a lot of competitors in its sector with the Apple Music and Amazon Music and all those uh, huge companies that are that have been uh, increasing drastically in share price. Yep, Battlefield battles against spotify apple music 
So it's hard to say on how this will go in the future. I think more news has to be released to see how this will turn out in the end. They may have some partnerships with other companies going into the future with this new leadership, which could be a very good thing to look for. And yeah, I think that's about it for this video. If you guys uh, know of any interesting news, please leave it in the comments below. And I will try to go over that and maybe do some more research into that and provide back to all you guys out there. I'm very sorry for this uh, video. I'm kind of sick right now. My throat is killing me. But uh, yeah, it's, that hasn't been going too well for me in the recently good well bug burgers are coming to swiss stores what is that no idea netflix tries to even score with disney okay yeah so hmm all lead to deliver groceries via instacart oh this is interesting a grocery chain now delivers the groceries to their home so it's like shipping groceries i believe german-based supermarket company on monday <clears throat> so this may be an interesting thing to look at as well not sure how this uh, will turn out but this would just overall um play into the volatility of the stock um all the yeah so that's one thing to look at, we know uh, the CEO, Jason Hart, said we know customers are looking for new ways to save time and money. Instacart provides easy access to our low prices at the click of a button. So that's a very good model. You know, they're saving time and money. People care about their time. They care about saving money, driving out and going to the groceries themselves so i feel like this would provide a lot of value for the customers and i could see this being like the um the new standard going into the future definitely with the amazon wholesales and all that <clears throat> so yeah those are uh, those three uh companies would be on my watch list and i will look very closely at those companies and how they um, do in the future going into the future and what how these news uh affect their um, company as well as their investments and stocks all that so it's a very interesting time here <clears throat> Let's see here. According to the NPD group, 52 million Americans buy their groceries online. That's a, I mean, if you guys buy your groceries online, please leave it in the comments below. So maybe we could uh, raise some awareness on how that system is. Have you guys received any um, bad quality products, foods that you guys ordered online? Has it been? better worse you know how, how is the customer service to that how long does it take to ship those products are they do they um do they deliver based on the expired dates have you received any uh groceries that have been expired that they try to get rid of those are all potential um, things to look at I would expect that would be a very likely, especially with this new model and the fact that it hasn't been out for too long. So yeah, internet, young people are using the internet to buy food for themselves and their family. We can also look at the prices of all that and I don't know, do you guys, do we tip them for this? Probably, right? I believe this would be a tipping reason to tip. So yeah. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
like I said again, look at those three stocks very carefully. They may have some very large volatility going into the future weeks, months, years, and they may be a huge player in the stock market coming up, but who knows? So once again, look out for um, <clears throat> SYF, ALDI, and what was the other one? Also look at GE, we don't know if that may be a potential company to short. Oh yeah, and Pandora, obviously, with the new leadership. We'll see how that plays out and read more of their um, statements stuff. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it helps some of you guys and clarified some of the news and maybe some of the chart analysis. <clears throat> and yeah, if you all enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe leave some comments on what type of videos you guys would like to see and you know just any advice maybe we could just chat discuss about um stocks and pennies and penny stocks and how those may play out going into the future so yeah um happy trading everyone please stay in the green minimize those risks and trade and invest intelligently y'all thank you for sticking all the way through to this video i hope you enjoyed and take care y'all